Hi everyone, this is Marley with Duke Schnauzers in Middle Tennessee and welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you like my videos, hit that subscribe button because I will be posting lots of puppy spam and also some informational videos about how to keep your schnauzers healthy and happy. So today I want to talk to you guys about boosting the schnauzers nutritional health and give you guys an awesome pro tip. Um, but before I get into that, I'd like to introduce you to somebody very special. This is Willa. Sorry, I love my puppies. She's our newest puppy here at Duke Schnauzers, and she is so fluffy and so cute. So I figured while I'm talking your guys' ears off, why not hold her and give you something to look at? Because <laughs> um, she's super cute. But anyway, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about some things that you guys can do very easily at home to boost your Schnauzers health. And a lot of this information actually will apply to other breeds besides Schnauzers. So if you have another type of dog at home, don't automatically think that this won't be beneficial for you. So the first thing that um, I wanted to recommend is making sure your dog has access to clean water. This is huge, especially in these hot, humid, sticky, horrible summer months. I don't know how it is for everybody else, but in Tennessee it is sticky and it's hot. Um, and providing your dogs access to water in multiple different locations. So if your house, you have a upstairs and a downstairs, make sure they have a water dish upstairs, downstairs, and then also outside. They will definitely need that water outside if they're spending a lot of time out there. And you're also going to want to make sure that the dogs are not um, outside when the air quality is unhealthy, because just like you don't want to be stuck out in that, neither do they. And when you give your dogs water, you want to make sure that the type of bowl that you're using is a good bowl. You want to make sure that there's no cracks, there's no scrapes in it, there's no divots that bacteria can move in and you know, set up shop, which can make your dog sick later. You're also going to want to make sure that those water bowls, whether you choose ceramic, stainless steel, or plastic, that you clean them regularly. And by regularly, I mean every single day. And that actually means to pick it up, dump it out, put soap and water in it, and scrub it. Because if you're just doing the old top off trick, that little film that gets gunk, the gunky film, it's called biofilm. It's gross. And it's from the bacteria that lives in your dog's lovely little mouth, um, commingling with the water and settling along the side. And too much of that over time can cause that bacteria to grow, 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 which eventually will make your dog sick. So highly suggest for you to keep a close eye on those water dishes, make sure they're in good condition, and to switch out that water every day and wash the bowl. So don't want her nose. Um, the other thing that's really important for our dogs is providing them an adequate diet. And I already did a long video on what I recommend for miniature schnauzers, but I'll give you guys just like a brief synopsis of that. Royal Canaan, Royal Canaan, <laughs> Royal Canaan. Um, schnauzers are prone to having congested liver and um, fatty blood and pancreatitis and all of this other stuff associated with that. So I recommend a low-fat diet for them. And if you want to know more specifics about that, check out my other video on my channel. But there's other things you can do to boost their health. And they don't necessarily have to be anything super expensive. This is totally accessible to basically everybody. And um, they are adding fruits and vegetables to your dog's food. That's like a little topper. Kind of incentivize them if they get bored of their food um, and just, you know, makes it more interesting. And the first thing that I recommend is blueberries. Blueberries are awesome. Um, they're so good. And fresh or frozen will do. And blueberries are great because, as you know, they're really high in antioxidants. So they have cancer-fighting phytochemicals in them that, you know, that and the antioxidants will help to fight inflammation and free radicals and will help to keep your dog healthy by giving them that extra boost. Now, you're going to want to make sure anytime you give something new, um, you first discuss it with your veterinarian, make sure that it's okay for your dog. And also you're gonna wanna keep a close eye on your dog when you give it to them, especially if you're doing um, frozen blueberries. Some bigger dogs, dogs with really um, effective um, teeth and chewing and shredding things, they can handle frozen blueberries really well. But you wanna make sure the first you know, couple times you do that, that you're watching the dog to make sure that they're safe because of course, safety is paramount. And just like with anything new, like with a new dog food, you want to introduce these fruits and vegetables gradually. You're not going to want to just automatically one day put half a cup on their food and think everything's fine. 
The other thing that's really good for our dogs are carrots. Carrots are wonderful for dog's teeth. So if you get, you know, like a $2 bag of carrots and you freeze them, those are great for letting your dogs chew on and it'll help to scrape off the built up decay on the back of their teeth. It's also really good for providing them benefits of the beta carotene, right? Another antioxidant, which is a, um, there's a precursor, which is a precursor to vitamin A and will help their eyes. So there's other vitamins in it. It helps their, to boost their immune system, has a lot of fiber, so it'll keep their gut healthy. So all of that is really good. Something else that's pretty good to put on their food is broccoli. Broccoli has a ton of vitamins in it. We have A, B, C, D, E, K, fiber, so good. But the thing with broccoli, and again, you could do fresh, you could do frozen. The stalks of them actually have the most fiber in it. Um, you're going to want to introduce those gradually, especially true with broccoli because broccoli is um, a food similar to cauliflower that it can cause more gas and GI upset. So very small amounts at a time. Then apples. Apples are wonderful too. Apples are have a um, good amount of fiber in them. They're low fat, low protein, and dogs absolutely love them. So those are really awesome. Um, highly suggest you guys look more into this and talk to your vet about it and see if it would be right for your pup. You can um, basically completely eliminate those dog treats that may have a bunch of fillers and icky stuff in it. If you, let's say, when your dog, you know, you're training your dog, you give them a blueberry instead of you give them a treat. So um, we love them. And I think you guys will too. Something else, and I kind of talked about this in my last video, is omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are fabulous for dogs, for schnauzers specifically. The What is actually in the omega-3s actually works against the schnauzer's fatty blood, so to speak. So it's going to help the body to process fat better and um, really aid in, you know, decreasing the risk of pancreatitis and liver congestion and all the nasty stuff that comes secondary to that. It'll also help their coats really shine. Um, and that's really a huge thing to look at. If your dog's if your dog coat is really dull and their skin is flaky, you need to change something up. Something is just not quite right. So make it a point with your vet and chat about that. Um, another thing that I recommend to keep your dogs healthy is to put them on a heartworm preventative. And we moved from California to Tennessee and Tennessee is one of the top heartworm places in the United States. So very important for our dogs to be on a preventative. And there's all these different pills out there and it's super confusing and oftentimes that will give you one. I know there's one right now that's really popular. I'm not gonna name it, um, but it has, you know, flea tick and heartworm and all this stuff. And I think it also has deworming in it. And deworming your dogs monthly is great as well. But I'm more of the, I like less ingredients in the things that I give my dogs um, as opposed to an all-in-one. I know that an ingredient in like the flea medication, the oral flea medications are actually like a paralytic and cause the fleas to actually have seizures and dogs have been known to develop a seizure disorder because of the flea medication. So I don't like those all in one things. I like either heart guard, which is ivermectin based and then also interceptor. And I chose interceptor for my dogs because we see whipworms out here and I wanted to make sure that I was protecting adequately above, um, for that. I give my dogs also their deworm monthly. I really like Bear's four-in-one product, um, like Bear Aspirin. And I think that product's great. So keeping your dog healthy with heartworm preventative is going to really go a long way and will save you a lot of money in vet bills later. So speak to your veterinarian about that and keep get them on a monthly um, prevention. For fleas or ticks, schnauzers luckily don't have a lot of fleas. Um, ticks, we would treat if we saw them, but I do have a medication that I can recommend that you can just buy. You don't need a prescription for, and that's if you see fleas. So that I'm more cautious with because again, those flea medications, there's just some nasty stuff in there that I don't wanna have to monthly expose my little ones to. And then for a cost-saving tip, a pro tip, if you will, I just discovered this. So the food that I buy my dogs is um, Royal Canin, which runs about like $52.99 right now, I think is what it is at Petco. 
I was previously buying food from Chewy or from PetSmart and really wasn't saving a ton of money. And I feel like, I mean, literally I buy dog food once a week um, for the big dogs and the, and the puppies when I have puppies. And I found out at Petco, if you buy seven dogs of bag of seven bags of dog food, your eighth bag is free if you have the Petco app. So buy your dog your dog food at Petco if you are buying Royal Canin because it's expensive, or if you're buying a different brand that's expensive, because you're gonna get a free bag of dog food at the end. So that's my pro tip for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message and subscribe, like my channel for more videos of cute puppies and nutritional tips on challenges. You guys have a good day.